<laughs> what do you uh, What do you campaign for? Oh, what do I campaign for? Uh, uh, I campaign for the separation of school and state. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey there, this is the F Plus Podcast, Terrible Things, Red with Enthusiasm. My name's Lemon. And my name's Adam. Hey, Adam, how you doing? Uh, you know what? I, I, yeah. I, uh, I've been having some trouble lately um, with high school. I'm not mm-hmm. in high school, but... <laughs> sure. Just like, like, like memories of high school you're having troubles with? Yeah, specifically letting go of a lot of uh, anger and frustration at... Uh, what what seems like nothing, but it, it's still just it has to find a home somewhere. Sure, sure. So you are like a grown up, right? Uh, yeah, technically yeah. grown up with a like you know job and an apartment and a girlfriend. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, and you still can't get over like the jocks that made fun of you. Yeah, I can't get over uh, <laughs> people who you know look at me the wrong way or sure. how my parents wanted me to sit still for pictures. Hey, that's uh, that's okay. Um, I want to introduce you to SchoolSurvival.net. SchoolSurvival.net, um, okay. Yeah, so SchoolSurvival.net, if you go, uh, it has the color scheme you would expect. Red and black. So, yep, red and black. And there are forums. And oh. uh, so you can go into the forums, and this is a place for people... Um, to talk about shit that doesn't matter in any way. People like me. Yeah, it's it's about it's about surviving the school experience, about how put upon you are. Right. Um, I'm, I'm very special, and and therefore like school is crushing my special spirit. So I, I need to commiserate with other special people. Yeah, there might be a little bit of talk of unschooling in there as well. Oh, thank God. <laughs> So there we go, school survival forums, dumb teenagers, it's on! Readers assemble! In the room tonight we have Isfahan. The video I made for YouTube won't upload. If anyone cares, it's me talking about anti-video game crusaders. Adam Bozarth! Robots have hard times when they aren't frequently commanded and made to obey. Boots rain gear! It seems the influence of the SS is spreading. And Lemon. Certain military leaders have used retreat to trick their enemies and then ambush them to slice their heads off and use their skulls to drink their blood. Oh, we're doing school survival. School survival dot net. Oh, it's a little too late for me. I already survived. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I uh, I work at one, so maybe that'll help. Sure. So nobody's gonna ask me what school survival is. Uh, Lemon, <laughs> what what is school survival? You know, fucking teenagers being dumb. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> that's we had to dig deep for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. A topic uh, we're probably familiar with a little bit, but uh, this is you know, it's 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 about. Uh, you know, teenagers kind of like um, spending their time together in, in sort of a unity and, and oneness and all making the most intelligent decisions together. You know, learning from each other's experience uh, to really be like the best human beings possible. So to that end, um, Adam, you are Syrac Damascus <laughs> and uh, you have a question uh, about your living situation. Hi, I'm Syrac Damascus. Yeah, you're anonymous. I am. I am wearing an anonymous mask. I am totally anonymous. To- totally yep. independently into Guy Fox. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm not giving up on this just because of this other shit. <laughs> I like the movie. That's all. Did I do what was right? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, to start, me and my parents have had a very bad year with me boot camp threatening. <laughs> And stuff like that, and hitting me, and me hitting back. This is what happened today. <laughs> hitting me and me hitting back. Yeah. All right. Yep. Boot camp threading. Boot camp threading. <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa got mad because I put the toaster down too harsh. What? what? Yeah, I did. Wow. Okay. I put, I put the, the toaster, toaster down, down to harsh. harsh. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> right. So it's so it's like uh, crispy, like faint toasting, <laughs> harsh. Uh, so I put the toaster down to harsh. Then he sure. went up to me, but his arms out like he's going to punch me. I do not let anyone touch me. Sure. Okay. So when he did, I grabbed the arms like one the moments in Call of Duty where you have <laughs> to press X to move their ar- arms, then hit them by pressing B. So I pushed till his arms were at his chest. This is a buff grandpa. He is 67 and builds cars. With homemade parts by himself. <laughs> it's it's a good thing he was playing Call of Duty recently, not not God of War. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those quick time events would have been really troublesome. <laughs> so, so then I wrapped a chain around his head and I tightened it until his head popped off, like in God of War. <laughs> this is a buff grandpa. It's good. It's buff grandpa. <laughs> when is the buff grandpa episode? Grandpa Op. <laughs> So I dropped what I had in my hand, sprinted out the front door, and ran off. Quote, the corrupt fear us, the honor support us, the heroic join us. Yeah, we are anonymous, yeah, we sure. are legion, yeah. united as one, divided by zero. We do not forgive, sure. we do not forget, expect Fuck us. You. I am an idealist, I am an intellectual. <laughs> no, I do not. do not speak you're unless not. spoken to. Do not mess with me, and I will not mess with you. Actually, you are a intellectual. <laughs> okay. Okay. Idealist. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just scrolled down and saw the response. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> okay. Uh so Isfahan, you are five 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 five. You're watching me masturbate. Thanks for that. Hello. I am Pike five 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 Pike. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> You believed you were in danger of being physically harmed and acted in self-defense, not inflicting any more damage than was necessary to disarm the situation. I don't see how you can possibly feel guilty about it, regardless of if it was a misunderstanding or if you were in actual danger. Yeah, so, I, I, I it's totally. A good thing bl- you acted in self-defense, even though there was nothing to defend against. <laughs> well, he had the, the something in his hand. Um. I, I, I really do believe that the guy that, like, equates a fist fight to it being, like, a quick time event in Call of Duty, like, totally kicks somebody's ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's your point of reference? I believe you, then. It's like when you, you have to press B, and then you're in the <laughs> next part of it, <laughs> and you press The only B. way I can describe the situation is by comparing it to a quick time event in a popular video game. Because sometimes it's why if you're at if you're on his side it's why he had to backspace all that out. <laughs> <It's> like, <"Nah." laughs> TMI. Uh, Boots. Timoth. Attacking and defending physically is an indication that things are really bad. Sure. Your choice to leave was probably best. So you out on the lamb now? Like, are you? <laughs> <clears throat> Physical assault and defense usually are the natural next step after emotional attack and defense. To be able to change this environment of pain can be difficult and may require you to act with great restraint. Humor can be a useful tool. I love, like, teenagers that, like, think they're deep and have, like, <laughs> oh, understanding yeah. of, like, yeah, emotional yeah, yeah, yeah. healing. I'm wise behind my ears. I've seen this before on a different forum. <laughs> <laughs> For example, if your grandfather is going to punch you, you can let him. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> He probably won't break anything, and you can milk it for a lot. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. You might be able to get Call of Duty Ghost out of it. <laughs> <laughs> for example, for example, also within this example, there's yeah. another example, right. apparently. Yeah. Uh, you could fall on the floor pretending to have been really hurt and look out up at him and ask, This was for toast? Oh, jeez. Jesus Christ. So next time you play this event in Call of Duty, buff right. grandpa. Yeah, press Y to fall. Yeah. Press Y to fall. Press B to guilt. B, 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 You really got to mash it. Okay, um, so uh, I wanted to share with you something. Um, this is, my name is Miller0700, uh, and I'm here to save you. Uh, and... Well, 
I wasn't picked as a valedictorian at my old high school, surprisingly enough. But if I was, then this would have been my going away speech if I could be completely honest about it. So Webster's Dictionary defines. Yeah. I love, so, like, yeah, I love how he thinks it's the valedictorian going away speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like all the ifs in this in this preamble. Yeah. <laughs> if I was valedictorian, <laughs> if anyone gave a shit about what I'd say. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is what I would say is my valedictorian speech. Thank you. I stand here today as a result of four years of rigorous and lengthy training in our glorious high school. Oh, he's going for sarcasm. Here. Okay. <laughs> glorious. I use that not to gild a lily or anything. I stand here a proud and shining example of what dignity, respect, and responsibility can do for me. I stand here downright expected by everyone here to give everyone here some sort of positive and heartwarming speech to play into this happy atmosphere, but I can't. Not anymore. I can't stand here and outright lie to you about my experience coming here simply because this is supposed to be a joyous celebration. In truth, these were some of the worst years out of my 18 years of growing up. <laughs> Growing up, yeah, you've been doing a lot of that. Huh? Thank you so much for picking me as valedictorian. I kid you not, there was not really one day that I could say I was sincerely happy about coming here to this graduation ceremony. And you're not the valedictorian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope. Almost all my days here were filled with fear, sadness, depression, and sometimes utmost rage at what laid ahead of me day by grueling day. I am... Really just this florid prose does not suit me. I can't really express the intense anger or hatred of being forced to endure these four years of torture without making a fool of myself in front of anyone. So I'll try and keep it civil. Yeah, good thing you're avoiding making a fool of yourself in front of everyone. <laughs> I'm just then blowing minds, that's all. And then the high school band immediately starts playing Pomp and Circumstance. <laughs> <laughs> the principal's back there pinwheeling his hand. <laughs> playing him off. <laughs> so, what can I say? Well, what I can say, first off, is that the Prussian system of compulsory schooling has gotten its money worth. <laughs> why, why are all of you looking at the sky right now? I mean, seriously, this school prides itself for being an amazing hub of, quote, dignity, respect, and responsibility. But look at us. We have a principal, Misspelled which it. is the wrong principal. Who, no, they have a principal. <laughs> we, have, we have a principal. A Prussian who, principal. <laughs> who gladly enforces restrictive, tedious, and often pointless rules on us, all of which were all put in place by an old, rude, and senile old man man who was forcefully removed because of these facts. I'm taking up some dirt. I'll try and keep it civil. <laughs> God? Old, rude, old, senile, wow, Boots, old. you just made the speech even edgier. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We learn all of these useless and pointless facts so that we'll later forget and not really care about in a week with no real reason to learn them. Well, other than the district said so or I said so, all in an atmosphere where we can't express any sort of dissent or differing opinion without being yelled at, scolded, punished, or even expelled for it. That's not a learning environment. It's a factory, and we're all cogs in a machine. Oh, that's why he has an old high school. Okay. It's a factory, it's a factory <laughs> and we're cogs. Yeah, we got to put our bodies on the gears and the the, the books. Yep. And the, and the, yep. the gym shorts. Yep. <laughs> and I'll put all of the apples. Uh, oh, made valedictorian for my <laughs> wonderful metaphors. Ready for life? Pfft. We have a third <laughs> of our teachers who are narcissistic, you know which ones you are, and gloat about how superior they are to us. The other third <laughs> can't get a dog to shut up and behave, <laughs> let alone... <laughs> A class. What kind of school do you go to? <laughs> Listen here, you. I'm the teacher, and what I say goes. See. <laughs> arf, 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 arf. No, guys, guys, can you please be quiet, guys? I'm a villain in a Saturday morning cartoon. 
<laughs> and the other third took their personal problems out on us. So now you can throw that respect, dignity, and responsibility crap right out the window because you won't find that with me or most of the kids here. And that reminds me, where would I be without you guys? I mean, really, where would I be without you guys? It's all in italics. Happier. I can say no. that for sure. You guys aren't nope. saints. I'm not even sure who I'm talking to here. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the other students or the teachers? I think it's the other students. It's the other students. The real reason I hate hated coming this school was mostly because <laughs> of you guys and you're really going to sit up here and smile at what crap we've dealt among each other Really? Look at yourselves. Some of you guys were horribly pretentious, cruel and heartless and hot-headed who frequently took your anger out on the rest of us. And some of you guys <laughs> Not me though. And some of you guys were immature, horribly <laughs> unfunny like. and annoying children. <laughs> More like bitter Victorian. <laughs> it's like next year we we can't select on academics alone. <laughs> first come, first serve. That's our policy. Actually, if this guy was a valedictorian, then holy shit, maybe the rest of the school is. <laughs> it's a prison. Yeah. It's a factory. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Who goofed off way too much for any of us to get work done whatsoever. And what resulted was a student body who was too divided and too deep in their own mess to actually do anything for themselves. Pathetic. Simply pathetic. Teenagers <laughs> having their head up their ass, caring about irrelevant <laughs> shit. It's a travesty, I tells you. <laughs> They're dreamers. They are silly hearts. <laughs> and lastly... I've had crushes on those two girls right over there ever since I was a freshman. <laughs> My balls are the bluest you will ever see. Oh, this is the, the young Pua's valedictorian, <laughs> valedictorian speech. Just what these two girls wanted to hear. Now that I've talked about how bad the school is, I'm going to go into my sexual frustration. <laughs> no, no, they're all winking back at him. Oh, Hello. oh I'm so dreamy now. <laughs> oh, and he's like, uh, he's like uh, Judd Nelson in the scene. It's really uh, <laughs> making all the girls wet. Oh, and shout outs to a few of the my only friends. And shout outs to a few of the my only friends. Okay, mm -hmm. good. I did read that right. Some bright yep. but quiet kids over there. And some of my favorite teachers in this entire school. I wonder which third they're in. Yeah. My only <laughs> sense of happiness from the school came from those group of people over there and only them. <laughs> I hope your guys' journey into life are all amazing, and I hope it's not too tainted from the atmosphere of this school. I love you guys to death, and I'm sure as hell going to miss you. Peace! I'm out, y'all! Raises both middle fingers high into the air, sticks yeah. tongue out, all yeah. while waving diploma in the air, presumably <laughs> with the middle fingers. Wait, yeah. okay. Takes a leave out of the auditorium, leaving a stunned, angry, saddened, and secretly overjoyed audience behind. Yeah, him. secretly. So he's even he's even God noting the reaction here. <laughs> I was so cool. Everybody loved it. He stuck his diploma on the end of one finger, so he's got one really big middle finger. <laughs> no, no, he just like he just uh, he, he pierced it like a club sandwich. You know, <laughs> too thick with an olive. I imagine he thinks like it expands beyond that to even like the bullies that mistreated him so far, or like their parents are just like, "Son, I heard what you did to the valedictorian, and I'm disappointed. <laughs> You're not going to college anymore. But you didn't beat his ass harder. <laughs> no ski trip. You didn't fuck that guy." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. I think I really put the dick in valedictorians. <laughs> Not, I, really? You're going to applaud that joke? Really? Yeah, well, I like a clap like that, that monkey that you that you wind up and that plays the cymbals. Adam's, Adam's very easy. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Adam, how are your career prospects turning out lately? <laughs> oh, boy. Now that yeah. you're at the bottom of the cliff. Here's another link. How are oh, your uh, how are your career prospects turning out? Are they good? Like you oh my seen... my personal ones. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, talking about there's... Avi Bird, of course. Oh well. Oh yes. Well, Avi Bird. Let me let me ask Avi Bird. Is Avi <laughs> Bird here? <laughs> he's a world changer. You can tell because he's posted on this forum 149 times. <laughs> oh yeah. My name is Avi Bird, <laughs> and I'm a world changer. Everybody and... wants to post on Super Cool Survival. <laughs> 
<laughs> I haven't learned a single thing about surviving in school. So It'll far. happen. You just gotta give good okay. speeches. Okay. Yeah. This is all. Yeah. This is the post stuff, but yeah. this is what you work up to. My name is A.B. Bird, and I want to know how do I make money after high school? Get a job. Is it Flynn? <laughs> yes. I didn't want to bring. Back oh God, an old I am doing oh, no. it. Sorry. I was thinking. Oh, should I, not I thought do I that? was done with you, motherfucker. <laughs> should I not do that voice? Dad, so my you're dad, a liar. Oh, I, I almost said a spoiler. Never mind. <laughs> my name is Abby Bird, and I want to know how do I make money after high school? Okay. All right. Well, as many people here already feel the same. I hate high school. School in general. <laughs> right. Point right. is, we all hate it. That's yeah. why you're here. Yeah, yeah, so that's where we're we, here. We do like black backgrounds and red text, though. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of high school. <laughs> and with that said, I don't know how the hell to make a decent dollar, dollar, dollar sign <laughs> in this fucked up economy and world. I could assume that's just a, a censored word ass. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait, wait. Let him yeah. go, let him go. <laughs> so I'm into herbalism, spiritual work. <laughs> There's not a lot Keep of going. money in it. it. Fucking sucks. Keep going. I'm also in music, drums, vocals, synth electronic and stuff, and I am an artist, so I paint and like fashion makeup and hair. Okay. Quiet and quiet and interest, if you ask me, with all those. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Here is your certificate. You are the most employable gentleman in the world. <laughs> Just walk into just walk into any like if there's yeah. a job interview happening in any building, yeah. just walk in. Tip over and the say, desk. I'd like a hundred thousand dollars a year, please. Thank you. <laughs> just <need the> drums. <laughs> just walk in in an interview with like a kick drum and a mm-hmm. pair of shears, <laughs> <laughs> paintbrush. Yeah, and Reiki stones. Yeah. But mm. I don't want to waste any more time in schooling. Sure. I know right. two people I can turn to. For the herbalism kind of stuff, we'll right. call it New Age for the purposes of this post. <laughs> and the world, yeah. Yeah. One person works slash owns a health food store with their hubby. This, oh, the other, no shit. Yeah. The other guy, a shaman, owns yeah. an er- and herbal business in L.A. and is good friends with the world famous, if you're into raw foods, you may know him, David Wolf. <laughs> sure. Sure. You heard so, of him? So people that no, I haven't. It just if you're into raw foods, are you guys not in raw food? Uh, pretty into raw food now. <laughs> Didn't you guys eat like Pringles with carrots on them? Or there's, a, there's, a, there's a Jesuit that died in 1578. Uh, is that the one? No, man, that's not him. Okay, is he the one that was in the film version of Where the Sidewalk Ends? The, <laughs> whoa, what? So they made a, yeah, I know. Totally. I didn't know that. I don't think it's... I guess it's a mo- I guess it's completely unrelated to the Shel Silverstein. Anyway, this is a bit of a... Yeah. <laughs> no, let's keep going with all the different David Wolves in the world. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> so, yeah. So, as we were talking about, he, I'm, he's yeah. good friends with world-famous David right. Wolf. Those would be my best bet for learning about herbalism and such. Sure. Well, you can make yeah. minimum wage working in a co-op. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly, so, man. Yep. You got to share your income. Right. Yep. Music. Well, I am buying some electronic gear, a sap, and as soon as my mom will let me get my rhinoplasty <laughs> nose job <laughs> because of a medical problem. <laughs> Huh. The medical problem is the medical problem is my addiction. N- nose is ugly. <laughs> Then I can record vocals and everything and then put that shit out there. But for now, I'll just have to make basic tracks without vocals, which kind of blows. But what can I do? Harry face. Oh, he must have a really annoying nasally voice. <laughs> I don't think a nose job fixes that, does it? <laughs> I, think it I think it could. Yeah, if they just block it up. I think he might be trying to sell the nose job because he's saying he wants his voice to change, but he really just wants a better looking nose. Well, yeah, I like how that he can just ask his mom and dad, I want to sing better. Can you get the surgeon to hack my nose apart? Like, <laughs> yes, of course, but not until you're out of high school. <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping, and it's my dream, to become big yeah. in music. 
Sure. And right. not like a Disney sellout or a Gaga famous <laughs> no. person. Just mm-hmm. have a strong, no. stable fan base and a tour right. in small venues in the U.S. Is that uh, does that count as big in music? Yeah. No, I mean, but, yeah, yeah. If you're actually making a tour that pays for itself, that is a pretty much a successful musician. There's <laughs> a lot of bands that don't get to that point. <laughs> I wouldn't want to sell my music. Sure, Instead, right? I would sell my merch. But um, that's how it works, fuckface. <laughs> that's how it works. You don't get a piece of the album, idiot. Music's not merch. <laughs> you can't sell it on anything. <laughs> <laughs> this <Right>. voice. <laughs> yeah. I can't yeah. get the picture out of my head. Yeah. It's uh, right, it's, it's the exact cross between Flynn and uh, Slumpy Space Princess. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. That's a good crossover show. That's a good fanfic right there. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not too sure if I would have a choice, considering right. we all need dollar bill sign, dollar bill sign, <laughs> and what can you price and people will pay for, you need to sell, dot, dot, right. dot. Wow, I cannot. I, 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 I can't tell that your parents are loaded. Like that doesn't come through in your post at all. <laughs> I have no sense of what things are worth. Uh... They have such <laughs> disregard for money that they don't even spell it out. It's just a symbol. Everything is measured in how many dollar signs you use. Like right. Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> as far as makeup and fashion go, that's more of a side hobby. Unlike the music that you haven't recorded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is just on the side, which means I don't really do the it. The herbalism you haven't learned about. <laughs> right. But I've got an interest in it <laughs> that I want to do it. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> I just I just like wearing crazy things like arm warmers and snakeskin pants oh, and Doc Martin boots and experiment. Wait, Doc clothes. Martin boots in high school? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> It's pretty out there. Yeah! <laughs> you should get the idea. I'm creative, unique, mm-hmm. and break yep. boundaries with stuff for my age. Yeah there's, yeah, there's no other teenager who wants to, who dreams of becoming a giant uh, rock star and just <laughs> living with their herbalism. The problem is I'm not quiet. Yeah. Sure, what I should do with my talents and whatnot. I guess you should find some talents. No, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Do I go study herbalism with these with those two people? <laughs> Get your degree. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, sounds pretty. Yeah, shady. that's a, a great plan. Do I go study herbalism with those two people, or do I release music and hope to God teens my age like it and buy it? I need help. <laughs> You can't, your face, can't po- face. Music can't possibly be a side gig. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's impossible to do two things at once, you know. Right. You have to choose, and you have to register your choice with the Chamber of Commerce. Right. See, I, I could learn some simple, irritating bullshit, <laughs> or yeah. I could create some shitty music. <laughs> yeah. I like that, I like that uh, he hasn't recorded a song yet, but he's already worried about selling out. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to be a sellout, but I do want money. <laughs> Anyway, oh. uh oh, he uh, follows it up. Yeah. My name well, yeah, my name's my name's The and I just wanted to say um uh, you shouldn't rely on music. You should start with something where you know you'll make money, then see how much you could make off of music. Yeah. See, Albert, anything this anything That's good advice, but probably not for what The was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I'm going to follow that with my signature, which is an Oski middle finger. <laughs> Fuck you. Like he didn't say uh, get a job. He just said start with something where you'll know you make money. I guess he means like prostitution. Drugs, I don't know. Drugs, yeah. <laughs> anyway, anything? any response to that? Oh, yeah. In response, he says, uh, the thing with music is that I'm releasing two CDs off of two completely different projects. Uh-huh. One is a Polk Funk ambient project. <laughs> Fuck you! So it's going to be awesome said, to listen to. Did you say Polk Funk? He did. He did. He, did, he meant to say punk folk. Punk folk. <laughs> he said Polk Funk. Polk Funk. Polk Funk oh, wait, ambient oh, project. Polk Funk ambient sounds awesome. See, guys, it's, we were laughing yeah. when he said he was unique, but he's actually uh, yeah, he's pretty yeah, unique. yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's uh, 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 James K. Polk uh, impersonators covering the hits of Grand Polk Funk Railroad. Funk. <laughs> Polk funk. 
<laughs> One is a punk folk ambient project, and the other yeah. is a glam rock electronica. I'm oh, not. God. Yeah. Shit. It's all stuff I can play on GarageBand, so it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not relying on those two for dollar sign, dollar sign. I'm just releasing them because I want to. Okay. If I get a good yeah. size of positive views and such with the CDs, I will release more singles and demos until people become interested, and then I will ask for the fans for help. <laughs> but the do fans. not. Yeah. The fans, huh? All right. They're coming. Yep. <laughs> but not make it sound like I'm some bum kid asking for dollar sign, dollar sign. <laughs> I want to cut it too close there. No. <laughs> I'm some rich kid asking for dollar sign, yeah. dollar sign. I, I may be a teenager, but I know not to put too fine a point on it. <laughs> I'm not necessarily in for the dough. I'm in for the music to express myself and draw a line and prove a point for certain things that happen in my life. Uh, the title of this thread, again, is How Do I Make Money After High School? <laughs> But as with any artist, money does help when you're making everything on your own and not a Hollywood robot who gets millions oh, of dollars a week. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that why I can't get any any work? Is because all the Hollywood robots have taken it? Yeah. yeah the... <laughs> making sketch comedy shows. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, yeah, bop, well... boop. I'm I'm sure that, like, you know, the, the Crystal Threat Railroad and, yeah. you know, Ziggy Bittune are really the greatest <laughs> bands ever. Z Ziggy Bittune. <laughs> They're just rolling in money. <laughs> <laughs> Millions of dollars a week. <laughs> Ziggy Bittune. <laughs> but, but just, you know, the corruption of America is, is just, you know, keeping you from, from getting to the forefront of uh, popular culture. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, it's like Mega Man songs. <laughs> Spider from Mars! This, 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 <laughs> ew, this, guy, ew, this ew, kid ew, sounds ew. bitter that he's already not made it, even though he hasn't put anything out. You know, he's got a band, he's got two different bands together. Uh, they are conceptual nightmares, but. <laughs> I made it. Why doesn't everybody love it immediately? <laughs> what do we gotta do? Spend effort on it? Uh, boots. Hi. Uh, give me the wisdom of fish pit, please. Ooh. Fish pit. Fish pit. Yep. Fish pit. <laughs> well, hi, I'm fish pit. <laughs> you, I like you. You're fun. Oh, fish thanks. Pit. I'm a renegade. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I got a question. Yep. What's H that? How to argue against this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Sure. Well, tell us more. <laughs> oh, I have to tell you more. <laughs> okay. I guess. I guess. I guess the answer would be that. <laughs> that didn't help me at all. Here, let me let me elaborate. <laughs> I read through Teenage Liberation Handbook and wrote slash presented a long proposal based on the one in the book. I talked about college plans, academic stuff, etc. My parents are still far from convinced. They made points such as, why don't you manage your time better so you can have more time for your interests? Well, school drains me a lot. I mentioned that to them. <laughs> and I feel, sure. I feel quite unmotivated to do anything, especially when I have loads of pointless homework. <laughs> <laughs> but You are in such a strange situation. I know. But if say that, they'll just say I'm making up excuses and being lazy. You just said you feel quite unmotivated to do anything. Right. <laughs> I don't know why they don't understand that and call me lazy. I mean, like, in, in this reading, I'm able to see, it's that theory of, like, teenagers have brains that are just completely scrambled and are trying to order themselves properly. <laughs> like, that, like, that, like, as teenagers are going through puberty, their brains are going, like, are completely different yeah. than how they were. And, like, I can see how, like, these ideas are just kind of bouncing off each other in this, like, pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they say I gotta do stuff and I have pointless stuff to do and I don't want what was I talking about <laughs> <laughs> then my dad said if you get straight A's for two semesters then we'll talk about homeschooling yeah yeah your dad wants to hang around with you more I can see <laughs> yeah that really pissed me off <laughs> sure understand it yeah your dad tried to strike a deal Yep. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah, he's, he seems to think the high grades equals genius. 
equals too smart for school equals capable of homeschooling. Or he wanted to set a standard that you couldn't meet so that he didn't have to deal with the homeschooling idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think he would rather invest in you trying to be motivated before he tried to motivate you. <laughs> I don't want to waste my time for high grades, which do not reflect my intelligence. <laughs> high gra- oh, wait, high grades don't reflect your intelligence? That's so true. That, that is that true. Be getting- is that a Groucho Marx <laughs> line? It should be getting lower grades. <laughs> Why should I waste my time for high grades, which don't reflect my own intelligence? <laughs> I should get the grades I'm supposed to get. <laughs> I'm Groucho Marx as a teenager. <laughs> and I don't think I'm capable of getting all as anyways. Right. Or A's. Mm-hmm. I only have A in math. <laughs> sure. Not in English. Not English. <laughs> Finally, my mom says I should work with the system because many people have gone through the system and survived, and that school isn't that bad. I'm really unhappy about school, but then mm-hmm. she says that lots of other people are worse off than me. Yar! <laughs> she pointed out how I'm kind of spoiled. Compassion for others! <laughs> Arr! <laughs> how should I argue against my parents' points so that I can convince them? Communication with them doesn't appear to be working. What else can I do? What What does he want, though? Like, I, I don't get what he wants. Uh, He wants to not go to school. I think he just... Does he just not want to do anything? Is that what it is? Is he just like, look, everybody's asking me to do stuff! Yeah. Well, actually, so he read this uh, He read this book uh, by, oh, uh, by yeah. Grace Llewellyn. I Googled and, it, too. Uh, yeah, so Grace Llewellyn is uh, uh, sort of a founding figure in the... In the uh, area of ho- of uh, unschooling, oh, oh sure, yeah. right. sure. So he wants that wonderful life. <laughs> I see. Yeah, of course. See, the book is published it. in ninety one, and she was born in nineteen sixty four. Right. Yep. So that means she wrote this when she was ten years out of high school. Anyway. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Best time. Uh, uh, anyway, um, it's fun. Loksor. Oh. My name is Loksor. That's some good spelling. Yeah. Phonetic, Y'all like. will have to convince M that the way school works is impeding how you learn. If <laughs> y'all do, that you're set. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't know M, so I don't know how they'll counter. You are doing a terrific job with your Minnesota accent. It's really coming <laughs> along very well. The text very, very well. along. <laughs> you should get out of school with me. And let's go do stuff. <laughs> uh, actually, expound on that, uh, Adam. Uh, Alucard four eighty three. You're a you're a site mod. You're the management of this I website. Understand. You've posted on this forum six thousand two hundred and six times. I am backwards, Dracula. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we fudge grades. <laughs> I rub fudge on my report cards. <laughs> You agree to thier terms of engagement. No, engagement. engagement. <laughs> <laughs> you agree to thier terms of engagement. That's a whole thing on uh, on uh, uh, fat life. I'll have what he's learning. <laughs> then use unconventional warfare. Unfortunately. We'll still have to attend school, but not really participate. <laughs> With an S. However, you have to be on the spot about skimming out mail, phone calls, and emails from the school about falling behind. <laughs> be cool, hazy. If the catch you what you are doing, then the subject is permanently moot. All right, son. I want you to get straight A's for two semesters. Well, Dad, it turns out I no longer get grades. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Congratulations. No, this is what their report cards come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just handwrite them. <laughs> it's, it's the honor system. They just pass, they pass so, it around in envelopes. Are you calling me a liar? <laughs> <laughs> calling your own son a liar? They've also canceled all parent-teacher meetings because <laughs> government shut down. But yep. uh, if you get if you get a letter about it, uh, it's just because they you know the the system hasn't caught up. Oh yeah. When the letters get sent out, get the letter before they do. 
Oh, Scan okay. the grades into a computer and what? boot up Photoshop. <laughs> oh, Erase the grades. Oh, I like this idea already. <laughs> and put in new ones. Don't get stupid, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't get stupid. Don't, don't get your stupies. <laughs> don't get stupies. Oh, uh, is that? A, I'm gonna search on Cafe Press for "Don't get stupid." <laughs> don't get stupid. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Yeah. Don't get stupid, though. A hundred percent in all classes and non-realistic. Vary them up so you have a ninety-eight percent and a ninety-two percent, and <laughs> right. so on and right. so Which forth. In your case is also unrealistic. Right. Yes. <laughs> Print it out and put it back in the envelope. <laughs> Put the open letter on the table, and when you see your parents next, feed them the biggest pile of bullshit you ever have. <laughs> Act really excited. Literally. <laughs> Get it's a big be a high pile. <laughs> I got this Ziploc bag of bullshit. I got dinner for you. You hungry? <laughs> Act real excited and claim that you're keeping up your end of the bargain. Sure. The bargain. Gauge reaction. Bargain. Yep. <laughs> Gauge reactions and see if they are actually willing to start looking into alternative schooling. If it looks promising, then do it again. <laughs> Then we get to see if your parents are full of shit. <laughs> At least as full of shit as you are. <laughs> you know, know where you get it from. <laughs> At that point, it's almost more effort than just getting a decent grade. <laughs> oh, I thought we made a deal. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't keep up my end of the bargain. Now you're going to let down yours? Well, I got a response to that. Oh, hi, fish pit. That's a good idea. My school doesn't send out report cards. Oh. All grades for assignments are put on lines. So parents can view them at any time. <laughs> okay, I'm you're gonna, uh, Mom, they changed where the report cards are now. <laughs> Here's it's what they do. You boot up home Photoshop. Home.geocities.com. <laughs> you go to Geocities. You type in your name of your school by whatever. No, it's just school 2896. <laughs> school it's Boulevard. like the district number. Got Geocities. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still round, right? Uh, no, actually, it's not. Grades are posted under the, Thanks a lot, the rotating Yahoo. skull. Sure, <laughs> sure. You spend some money on a new logo. You can't fucking spend money keeping GeoCities around. <laughs> Assholes. Fishpitschoolmarks.wordpress.com. It's like a bunch of crappy Brooklyn accents. <laughs> All right. Uh, my name is Entity Cubed, and I'm super into the dog in Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. His name is Riley. It's a, it's a callback. Yeah. It's from I'm, I'm into the Call of Duty dog. It's awesome. Okay. Everyone on my bus is an asshole! <laughs> well, yeah. I already knew that. Yeah, it's the bus. School! What can make my day worse? A load of assholes! <laughs> my afternoon bus is loaded with idiots. When I find a seat, it just has to be in back. That's where all the idiots sit. <laughs> okay. The dumb fucks at the back of my school bus piss me off. These creatures try to insult and make fun of me every way they can. I got a new iPhone 5. Instead of complimenting me, God. or just staying quiet about it, these huh? fucking whores had to make fun of me for it. <laughs> hey, new phone, huh? New phone, huh? What you got on it? Your game music? <laughs> you whore! <laughs> oh, I hope they die a slow, painful death and burn in hell! Fucking assholes! I think schools should change their education system. <laughs> That's all. Okay, good. <laughs> well, at least you got that out. <laughs> Or entity cube. I'm learning more and more about how to survive school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, now we're going to learn more about porn. Uh, Adam, you have a question. Well, I'm Dulix, and yep. why aren't kids allowed to watch porn? <laughs> hmm. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Let's let's see if his uh, if he if, it, if at any point he goes, oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch porn legally. I watch it illegally, yep. and I'm old enough to understand sexuality. Why right. can't? Why the hell can't I watch porn? <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, it's fine. Crayola colors. I think that if people are sex addicts, it's better to have porn than to go out and rape some random chick. <laughs> <laughs> now, if they go out and rape oh. some specific chick, that's fine. <laughs> Huh. I don't think it adds the the problem. Right. I think it serves as a sort of Tylenol for these certain people. And plus, the thread was more about why the law says children can't watch it, yet adults can. Yeah. Yeah. I don't so, think yeah, you, this is getting wrapped up. I, think, I, don't the think, you, uh, I think there's a lot that you don't really understand there, Crayola Colors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, 11,265 posts you're saying I don't understand. Uh, okay, uh, AWOL. Is AWOL on this first page here? Yes. Um, yeah. uh, <laughs> Boots, take that. Uh, AWOL is a furry, so that's good. Oh, good. All right. And, he's, <laughs> and he likes XKCD. Uh, one. There is an imbalance between that genders. That is the I like XKCD voice, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're reading this post with your eyes closed and holding a finger up. <laughs> <laughs> There is an imbalance between genders, yep. but I'll be damned if it's a male greater than female these days. Uh, Good point. It's not. It's the female females uh, in population wise s- slightly outnumber the males uh, in the world. Is that what you mean? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Got two sexualized. So you should be Yoda. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Humanity is annoying. <laughs> yes. Gear shift. <laughs> you have three basic wills. And they go like this. Will to live. Then will to reproduce. Oh, no, not Maslow again. <laughs> then will to prosper. Fuck. But oh my what? god, this Maslow, guy is so I'm, right. I made this up myself. Oh, yeah, okay. Great. <laughs> to be fair, that's kind of a bullshit, facile understanding of Maslow. So sure. It's still... sure. I don't Annoying know who this mouse you're are. talking about is. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the spooning bard came up with this theory all by himself. Yeah. Fucking asshole. <laughs> you're following the last one spectacularly for the most part. So much so that you're neglecting the first two, which are more important. So you prosper by masturbating to pornography? I do. I am very prosperous as a human being. <laughs> Like, I am doing pretty well for myself. <laughs> Next time my parents call me a loser, I'll tell them what's up. I call money. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. No, I did get fired, but I also watched Stop My Ass is Haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the idiot now? <laughs> I bounce right back. You're all right when it comes to the will to live, yeah. but the will to reproduce is being fucked hardly and repeatedly. Hardly. Yeah, not much. The actual will. <laughs> the actual will is being fucked. Yeah. But only a little bit. By you! Sure. Humans. Morons. Sexualization is a good thing. Mm. Not in large amounts, but it's still good. And guess what? Jesus, it's Jesus. about perfect at the moment. Oh, you are so irritating. <laughs> but the gender that needs to be sexualized is bitching. It bit. I don't, yep. Yep. Not surprising, really. Uh, which what color is your fedora right now? AWOL. <laughs> <laughs> His fedora's gone super Saiyan. Yeah. <laughs> My fedora is a hypercube. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> A Mirabrat fedora. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I don't like this Three, guy. fuck it. I've yeah. watched porn since I was nine, and I'm one of the only people I know that support gender relation and sexual equality. Well, if anything, I could draw... Sexualized is bitching. 
the heck you draw that porn is good from my experience. <laughs> yeah, porn well, is good. It turns people into you, furry. Yeah, XKCD X- 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 fan. furry. Who post about image. men's rights shit on a school <laughs> survival forum. They have three broken image links that off- must offer... They, greater they, insight as to go my links personality. To questionable content, slightly yep. damned, and awkward zombie. Yeah. Cool. So uh, other uh, uh, net comics. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, oh, uh, absent, absent insomniac, absent insomniac. Uh, my name is Absent Insomniac, and uh, I've posted six thousand three hundred sixty-three times. Whether it's right or wrong. What to do? With, whether if the weather is right or wrong? Yeah. 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 But that should determine whether I'm watching porn. <laughs> it's, it's raining or it's not. It's, it's not it's really, right, it's wrong. No, it's yeah, not it really kind of does already, so. <laughs> anyway, whether it's right, uh, wrong or right to do doesn't really matter. What matters is whether, wrong again, again. <laughs> it should be censored or banned from people. Adults what? watch it legally. So I see no reason for kids to be restricted from it. <laughs> After and all, if I see no reason, then there is no reason. Our legal standard is that kids and adults are all allowed to do the same thing yeah. all the time. There's a link to my blog where you can read more intelligent shit like that. Mm-hmm. Why can't there be a teenage president? <laughs> <laughs> he would be too radical. Yeah. I'm 14. I play Call of Duty. I want to join the military right now. <laughs> If it's too bad for kids to watch, why isn't it too bad for adults to watch? I don't think it is such a bad thing that we should ban it. Sure, there are people who get addicted and overuse it, but people get addicted to alcohol, money, smoking, (laughs) and too much of anything can be a bad thing. And teenagers can use alcohol and and smoke too, so it's like, yeah. (laughs) And money. And money. <laughs> Where did you get this? <laughs> At my job. Did you invest this? Did you invest this? <laughs> I learned it from watching you, okay? <laughs> uh, of course, there is the whole idea of predisposing people to things. But if you don't outright give it to kids, they probably won't be looking at it at the age of five anyway. Okay. Yeah, yeah sure. sure. Some kids do watch it at very young ages, and they don't come out as sexual predators. Citation needed. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and, yeah, and it, would, being it a, would be like being a movie. sexual predator is the only way that watching porn at a young age can fuck you up. So I think that yeah, no. If you if you had a movie, if it, if you had a movie where uh, in in one scene you showed somebody at five years old watching pornography. Then you would cut to him at the age of 20 being a non-sexual predator. (laughs) Just living his life, treating people well. Being a teenager is like when when you get to the end of the line at the roller coaster, but you're in that stall area. You can see people getting on the rides, and you're almost there. And it's just that for like six years. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm smarter than some people, but I haven't realized how dumb I am still. Um, uh, AWOL comes back on page two, Um, so fucking talk more about that, asshole. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. To further support the non-censorship of pornography for minors... Oh, good. Here's a list of facts. A point list, yay! (laughs) With bowling balls as points. (laughs) (laughs) Masturbation is healthy, and not masturbating can cause problems later in life, citation needed. Right. (laughs) We can just assume that this happens at the end of every list. (laughs) It becomes difficult to masturbate without good material around 13 to 14. What the hell does that mean? (laughs) What the hell does that mean? I I can attest that that's not true. (laughs) The problem with masturbation is that you never want to do it. (laughs) <laughs> that was about the time that I was masturbating to scrambled porn. <laughs> Remember, these are facts. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. All right. This is in support of an idea. You have to take it seriously if it's in a bulleted list. <laughs> yeah. Uh, porn is a good material. Right. Sure. It's silk. It's good. <laughs> 
Not as good as lumber, but okay. Uh, yeah. Porn is banned from miners. Correct. Right. Yeah, that's you said a right thing. Correct. All right. Good job. This, miners this... find it difficult to masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the first time I stated this, I was wrong enough. <laughs> so... Do we keep a... Okay, what we actually need to do is keep a running tally of the wrongest thing that's said in this podcast. (laughs) So that we can compare sentences like this against each other. Maybe the, there maybe has means... to be a tournament. I think that at the end of the year you have to have the F plus incorrect tournament. Yeah, you print up you print up phrases like this, like like on uh, little playing cards, and then and then you duel them. Yes, the, the goal is to the goal is to convince people as many people as possible that somebody actually said this for real. Oh my god, this is actually a really good game. No, no, no! Like where you would, where you would have to argue your point is less stupid than the other person's point. The game is called Devil's Advocate. I think it already exists. Oh shit! Uh, to be fair, I'm kind of going to agree with that point. Uh, miners find it difficult to masturbate. They haven't quite figured out the, uh, you know, the the logistics and the, you know, the. Uh, the most define minor, because I, I, I figured it. I just want to <laughs> get them the right material. I just want before it's too late. I want to give them the material. <laughs> All right, this, this one's just a fact here. Uh, yep. just plainly laid out. Miners develop problems later in life. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. Yes. If, yes. Wrong statement, and then another true one. <laughs> also, I love this symbol: bowling ball, 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 ball. That's true. That's Oh, good God. Uh, okay, who's the angriest person right now in the room? Not me. I'm chill. You chill? Okay. Adam, you feeling angry or are you feeling... Yeah, I can get I can get angry. You can get angry? Okay, yeah, yeah. I hope so. Um, uh, so I, I can hear the rage building up inside yeah. him. Yeah, so so uh, rage has a new name, and that name is Kelby393. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're shaking. Um, so, just tell me about your graduation pictures. I'm assuming they went well. Like, I know that you, you took graduation pictures and right. Gra- okay, this is Kelby three nine three. Graduation pictures went well, but warning, long post. <laughs> oh, my mom's. Good. But yeah, no, I'm just excited. That's all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My mom's throwing a fit because I don't care enough. Right. Yes. She's a brainwashee that thinks school's actually worth something. She thinks a diploma, a.k.a. a piece of paper congratulating you for obeying everything without question, right, is sure. really worth 12 years of hell. I'm not even proud to graduate from this prison. Okay. So I don't even want to show it to by getting a bunch of pictures, a bunch of stalls and shit, etc. <laughs> Like, things you wrap around your neck? <laughs> stoles and shit! <laughs> but just stoles Congratulations! Shit. Here's your mink stole. Yeah. Grandma got you a mink stole. Right. Man, I can't wait until I'm out of school where I'll never have to follow the instructions of someone else ever again. <laughs> I just get the minimum stuff, like the cap and gown and announcements. Well, fuck, you rebel. Holy shit, yeah. James Dean up in this bitch. I only agree to the pictures for the sake of not pissing my parents Again, off. Again, rebel. <laughs> I didn't even want to cut my hair. Honestly, it looks fine. I told them. Right. But mom and dad are just like, are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> 50 fucking times. I just want to say I love it when people extend a silent E. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the fuck alone! It's my pictures! <laughs> oh. Finally, I just gave in and got some bangs and layers and just get them off my back. Where's the part not... where you're a rebel? <laughs> so far, you've been a pussy throughout this whole thing. Yeah. I'm not the type of to do that to my hair a lot. To me, it's a hassle. To cutting your hair and combing it, I assume? <laughs> and today, we went and got the haircut, and then we went to the pictures... I got two good quality outfits for the pics, dressy and casual, to me, and the photographer. Both were great for the casual. Wait, for the did casual. you buy an outfit for the photographer? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to match the photographer. 
It's a camaraderie. It's important yeah. for us. Uh, when we're in this together, like buddy. Yeah. I don't want to have my picture taken. You don't want to take it. You know. <laughs> the casual, I wanted to wear the same shoes I wore that whole day, but mom stopped me. She's like, no, those look too old and dirty. She just said it casually, like kind of laughing, you know? Uh-huh, so it was sure. okay. So I thought, and then I put on dressy shoes which matched the casual outfit anyway, and the pictures went fine. Okay, okay. Are yeah. you just are you just angry that you're a pussy? Like I don't. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. <laughs> okay. the conflicts have been resolved by you giving in right, yeah. so far. Can you believe her? <laughs> God. And then another thing came up with me forgetting to wear my class ring for the cap and gown piece. Mm-hmm. Nobody thought to bring it, and I didn't think of it either. Okay, sure. Okay, and well, my sister didn't wear her ring in her pictures either. No big deal, really. And I just took the pics anyway. Great. Good. O- okay. Can you believe this? <laughs> yes, I can. I, <laughs> yeah. I very much can. 100% believability. Jesus! <laughs> but the way my mom threw a fit <laughs> over it pissed me off so much! That after we were done and we were going home, I just snapped at her like, Mom, why didn't you just tell me to bring the ring? Whoa. Well, it's her fault. Holy yeah. shit. I said, I said it, and that's that's when Mom's bitch fast started. <laughs> sure. Basically, it was, you're so insane. You don't even care about this. Those pictures are $500 for fucking pictures. I think you don't even care. You wanted to wear those ugly ass shoes, and then you don't even try to lose a few pounds. Holy well, shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I am chubby, but there are other big girls that took grad picks and looked awesome. <laughs> Maybe it's because they got good haircuts and wore their class ring and had nice shoes on. <laughs> Nobody it's... looks good wearing a class ring. And their <laughs> my mom wasn't there. <laughs> and then she was like, and the casual shirt was way too casual, and you are just like your damn sister. But you people are insane. Wait, your mother said you people are insane? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Okay. She said we're insane. <laughs> right. We had to force you. you people. Yeah. You yeah. people yeah. all, and where you come from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it must be your upbringing. I don't know how it happened. But we had to force you to get a haircut, and if you want to drive that new car of yours... You better prove that you're trying to be healthy. Hmm? Whoa, what? It's my car, you bitch. <laughs> and I'll drive it if I want to, and I am able to. It's my property now. And you bought a $4,000 BMW, which just sits in the garage about 90% of the time. Well, you just use the avalanche a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's responsible. Yeah, I, was, uh, I was on your side until this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know you bought the car, but it's mine now, you bitch. <laughs> and school, with its eight-hour daily slavery, mm. leaves me not mm. the time nor the hmm. energy to work out. Yeah, I, <laughs> sure. sure. I just want to relax. That is the worst excuse. I just... But, it makes everybody tired, like the football players right. and the soccer players. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're yeah, all me. tired. That's why uh, there's the after-school activity of naps. <laughs> I'm in the siesta club. <laughs> it's called chess club, and you know it. <laughs> I did try two years ago as a sophomore, but I just got fucking sick and tired of having that Fucky time crunch. What? Coupled with the fact that I gain weight way too easily, so I had to eat like less than seven hundred calories daily uh, and work out. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a terrible number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are not doing that right. Yeah, someone lied to you. <laughs> so I had to eat less than seven hundred calories daily and work out on Dancing Dance Revolution for thirty minutes. At three fi- at five thirty a.m. and somewhere it's six between six and ten p.m. that night, 
to burn up that <laughs> 700 or or more to lose weight. That's not how calories work. Yeah. No. That's not That's not how exercise works. That's not how eating works. I had to eat less than 700 and burn 700 <laughs> to be healthy. To break even. Yeah. <laughs> and it has a counter on it so it's accurate. Right. True. Mm-hmm. The higher you score in Dance Dance Revolution, the more calories you burn. I think. Well, th- um, to be fair, I, I, feel, I feel like Dance Dance Revolution probably has one of those. Like I know mm-hmm. that uh, Dance Central does. Oh, okay. But yeah, I mean, what teenager could eat less than seven hundred calories? Like even as a teenager, they're like, no, you should eat like three thousand. Yeah. Right? Like I, I can't imagine what it would take to burn off seven seven hundred calories in dance. <laughs> Dance Revolution. <laughs> that would be all day. It's 30 minutes at 5.30 a.m. Oh, sure. And then yeah, we'll do it, yeah. Somewhere, yeah. somewhere between <laughs> 6 and 10. Yeah. Otherwise, the calories become permanent and you get fatter. Ha <laughs> 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 you're mine now. I live out in the country, so I have to get up that early. And then the bus ride is an hour and a half to and from school every day. And so I get on the bus after school at four and ride ho- and get home at around six. Sure. Two hours of my life wasted on bus every day. Is that delightful? It's your yeah. math is delightful. That's uh, that's that will that won't happen when you're an adult. Yeah. yeah. Long commutes on the bus. I d- haven't dealt with that this morning. <laughs> I'll try to lose weight when school is finally off my shoulders. I'm not going to college ever. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Good. I'm just gonna relax. <laughs> <laughs> and me wanting to wear this only ass shoes doesn't necessarily mean that I don't care. I didn't even notice those shoes that much. It's not like I didn't care. I just didn't want to notice. <laughs> <laughs> I just put them on and don't even look at them, and they're not like they're not <laughs> ripping apart or anything. Right. Sure. Okay. Good. They just have a little wear and dirt at the tips, but that's all. <laughs> Maybe you should until, talk about this with your mom. Until mom pointed out to me that they were dirty, and then I realized she was right after I looked at them, and then I changed my mind. I wore those better <laughs> shoes at least. You should have to make such a huge issue fan about that. I like, how you t- I like how you turned into Lumpy Space Princess at the end there. <laughs> This would be a mom's throwing a real big hissy fit here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mom's making an idiot out of herself. <laughs> I learned it from you. And, and you insist it's your pictures. Well, it's my pictures, but you forced me to get a haircut, even though I knew my hair was just fine. Right. And you bitched at me about shoes, brain, and casual shirt. And then there were no fucking deal. And then <laughs> you forced me to take pictures at all. <laughs> I don't even know I ever agree to this. <laughs> These aren't even my pictures anymore. These are just your interpretations of my picture should look like. That's what class photos are. Yeah, that's how that yeah. works. Mm-hmm. You think anyone really enjoys resting their hand <laughs> on their face without I've got touching my class the hand picture up the on my wall right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's my headshot. It's certainly, it's certainly not. <laughs> Here we have Adam Bozarth. Oh, wow. He looks like a smart young boy. <laughs> uh, this is a piece by uh, Lord Zer Death. It's called Chores vs. School. I want it. <laughs> Damn it. All right, take it. Yes, my name is Lord Zer Death. And <laughs> I have a comparison essay to give to you. Uh, Chores vs. School. A funny video at the bottom of your post where it's a parody of that Coke ad called "I Like to Teach the World to Fap." Mm, uh, yes, we'll get uh, to that. <laughs> Great. <laughs> please, no, we won't. Please, let's not. The past <laughs> few days, I have been incredibly reluctant to get out of bed and go to school. When I don't get out of bed, I'm usually yelled at for one to two minutes. Then I get a fresh shirt on and head to school. Okay. Not today. Today it was the same routine, but my mum asked if I was going to school today. After uh, one minute of contemplation, I said no. <laughs> okay. She sighed and said I'd be put to work, and my reply better than school. I then fell back asleep. <laughs> An hour after I fell asleep, I was woken 
<laughs> and told it was time to work. Okay, good. I got up, quickly changed, and went to the kitchen, where she told B to clean out the cereal <laughs> cupboard. Now the cereal slash misc appliances cupboard. I complained <laughs> about the quantity of shreddies. I want to know more about the chronology of this cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> We put miscellaneous appliances in them. She said she ate the honey ones. I have never seen her eat in them. <laughs> Dad ate the normal ones. He rarely eats them, once every two months. I said Holy fine shit. and sorted them. <laughs> We're talking about cereal now. <laughs> For a while! I had to do it so it was a problem. <laughs> then started clearing out the pots. And pans covered where I got rid of most of the pots. <laughs> Threw them out the window. <laughs> they were really... I really like parentheticals, by the way. They were the really small ones about your fists put together. That's important for to understand the story. No, you're just our random minutia. Kept all the pans. Then decided that the lower half of the cereal cupboard is going to be the misc appliance cupboard. Ah, see, there you go. Mm. Then sorted them in that. <laughs> Cleared out the cupboard. It was foreshadowing oh, earlier. Oh, yeah, my I'd God. Say. It's a... Uh, it's Chekhov's pot cupboard. <laughs> Cleared out the cutlery drawer. Then I was told to mow the back lawn. The cutlery drawer. So just all of the drawings about knives. <laughs> yeah, drawings of knives drawer. that are just in the drawer. Which was the first time I used the mower. I felt pretty good that my, quote, more fat than muscle, unquote, arm started it. Oh, congratulations! Yeah. You're not fat! You started a lawnmower! <laughs> Heap praise upon me. I can do anything! <laughs> then I used a weed whacker to touch up the spots I missed. Oh, great. Then I showered as I was covered in grass and torn up weeds. Uh-huh. Over all, it was a pretty good day. Hmm. I didn't have to go to school. I got to sort stuff. Uh, another parenthetical, I weirdly like sorting. <laughs> I was asked if I was going to school tomorrow. I said no. If it's anything like today, it's going to be all right. Uh, postscript: Sorry for basically telling you my day. <laughs> oh, Someone had a gun to my head, so I had to. Uh, there, there's a there's a post postscript. What does PS stand for? So ignore that I just said postscript. <laughs> then there's a post post postscript. Do any of you watch Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I would like to teach the world to fap. In sure, time. sure. Well, then you have a follow-up post. Isn't that exciting? There's more news yes. from you, you boring I like fucker. how that guy was like, instead of school, I had a Saturday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it turns out I didn't finish writing it. Uh, oh, second day God. of doing chores instead of school. Oh, Same God. <laughs> it was worse. It started with sorting the containers. Lazy uh, Susie. Mm, that's her name. <laughs> lazy Susie. Yeah, that's, that's her name. It's her a sister. Yeah. Why Chinese can't Lazy Susie, Susie <laughs> sort the containers? <laughs> and under the sink cupboards, which was fine. Sure. Then I had to remove the grass that was growing between the paving stones in the backyard. Yes, I'm serious. After about three minutes, I decided, fuck it, and went to wash the windows. Let's say I don't like washing windows. <laughs> okay, let's say that. <laughs> I don't like washing windows. <laughs> We will now operate under the assumption yes. that you don't like washing windows. <laughs> My hands still feel I really do really like washing weird. windows, though. Semicolon, I don't like that feeling. <laughs> then I had to scrub dirt of the handrail part of the porch, which was you worse. You do recognize than the at this point that you're fucking autistic, right? <laughs> well, I do like sorting things. <laughs> right. Weirdly. <laughs> My hands still feel weird. I then took a lunch break and ate soup, semicolon, finished... Oh, I can't wait to hear about the soup! <laughs> <laughs> and started on the porch again. 30 minutes later, I was done. Went inside and check my interweb oh, stuff. Oh, God. Today was worse than yesterday. I've decided to go back to school on Monday, as I don't have school Friday. <laughs> Truthfully, I'm probably going to get my quote-unquote dogwood instead of four years of horribleness. What the fuck? Hmm? P.S. No? I learned what semicolons do. Comma, from my sister. Nope. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> no. Nope. No, I really didn't. <laughs> you, used, you used one after I ate soup, so nope. 
<laughs> I hate soup. Finished. Well, he's pretty much doing what everybody does when they first learn that semicolons exist, and that's put them fucking everywhere. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's what you do if you have too many commas in a sentence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Take the middle most, the middlest comma, <laughs> replace it with a <laughs> semicolon. <laughs> yep. Okay. 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 So, so the, the so the very beginning is this. Uh, Adam, were you pipe five five five? Who is pipe? Who is five? Was, uh, was that? That was okay. It's fine. It's, it's fine. You're gonna go back to pipe five five five. Uh, and I am Gorgoroth. Okay. 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 So I'm Gorgoroth. How can I start a BM band? Is this possible? <laughs> is what? is starting a BM band or any other <laughs> extreme genre band when I have to deal with the corporate world? How can I have long meddler's hair when I have to live at my house and my parents want me to cut it off, especially when I have a job? Can I keep a job if I am a BM musician? (laughs) (laughs) If one of my bosses can get offended or something (laughs) by my hair, I just want to figure out how I can do this shit when I have to live in the fucking cool cooperative world. Wait, the cooperate world. The cooperative world. <laughs> and I have to act like an average jack-off. So how's, so how's a BM band work? You just kind of kind of shit right yeah, into the microphone? You just, uh, you just, it, all, all you need to do is uh, just, you know, sit down and then focus and have regular releases. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> kind of, that's kind of a classy, I don't know. Thank you, Toast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, this isn't the voice I used last time, but whatever. But I don't care. <laughs> Release black metal albums from your parents' basement. Oh, Sacrifice it's Dr. Lamb. Claw from Inspector Gadget. <laughs> oh, dear. Sacrifice lambs and goats as you please, but keep such rituals away from the workplace. Makes sense. <laughs> Do not sure. sacrifice lambs and goats while you're on the clock. Eh, it depends. Most bosses you're an art director. won't appreciate walking into a restroom to find you smearing blood in the shape of a pentagram on the wall. You don't have to cut your hair off either, but you'll look. But you'll have to speak extra fluently and intelligently to make up for it. <laughs> if you find this is too much, you can always try to make a living off of your black metal band. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I've never heard a black metal lull until now. <laughs> that was, so that was a joy. Don't sacrifice at work. Yeah. <laughs> don't. Don't sacrifice Because, as we all know, you can't be in a black metal band unless you perform sacrifices. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I stay metal. So that's why Jack Chick has to talk all intelligently to make up for his hair. Uh, lol, I'm going to save all that stuff for the stage, I know. I don't think my parents would approve of black metal. The sad thing is, I will have to go through college, <laughs> that is sad, and get my own place first, maybe. Still, I could get in trouble at work if my boss finds out I'm a rock star of this type. <laughs> He's a what? <laughs> Gorgoroth, get in my office now! <laughs> you know Gorgoroth! <laughs> when I hired you, <laughs> it would be hard though to be a metalhead and have an office job where you have to dress up every day and not have one interfere with the other. <laughs> Just roadies constantly coming in and moving your coffee cup around for you. <laughs> I'm not prepared to have a double life. <laughs> Wait. Oh shit! Where was it? Um. Uh. Yeah. Fish twenty. Uh, boots. Boots. I guess. I'm fish twenty. Fish 20. All right. Tell your parents and boss that Jesus had long hair. Then they'll be like, "Ooh, <laughs> religion." <laughs> okay. Do whatever now. <laughs> your parents are made of straw, aren't they? <laughs> Uh, okay, so, um, there is... One, one, one last thing? Uh, yeah, so, so one last thing. We're gonna end with the topic of psychic abilities. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> well, those, those will definitely help us survive school. <laughs> For when you've gotten yeah. to level 20 high schooler and you can start <laughs> using advanced classes. It's called rival schools. That's, somebody out there gets that. <laughs> I, I know it's a PlayStation game. Uh, it's a shitty band. Oh. 
That was a fighting game. All right, so 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 Gas starts this uh, this thread out, and um, he just sort of you know talks about. He says, "I believe in psychic abilities," and then you know here's some uh, YouTube videos to totally. Pre- oh, Cypog. So, yeah, Cypog. <laughs> Makes it uh, a flashback from five years ago. All right. Yeah. Uh, but then Soul Riser, who is a site founder, um, and he put his handprint on his signature, um, yeah. he says, I haven't looked into the telekinesis stuff much, but I definitely believe in telepathy and empathy. <laughs> <laughs> and to me, empathy I'm is like a mystical there with skill. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how, I mean, that's what you like as a teenager. Telepathy and empathy are as out of your grasp. They're the same amount of out of your grasp. Did yeah. you know that there's guys out there that can tell how you're feeling just by looking at your face? <laughs> and the other thing is, they give a shit. It's like, yeah. it's like they've lived through that before. <laughs> Okay, so Mike... But I'm a teenager. Nobody's ever gone through what I'm going through right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Mike did a few random tests on me, whoever Mike is, uh, over the course of a few days. He likes to ask me out of the blue, out of 100, what number am I thinking of? After he'd been repeating the number in his head over and over for two minutes. Okay, so this evidence is going to fucking blow your fucking balls off. This is going to... Mm-hmm. Just hold okay. on to your balls. Just got them attached. Yeah, after yeah, yeah. Here we go. I got it right. The first two times he asked, after that it didn't work so well anymore, and then he tried <laughs> thinking of an animal. How many species of animals out are there? And I got it right once out of about five tries. It doesn't always work. <laughs> but what are the odds of it working even once when you're dealing with that many possibilities. The times I got it right, I saw the number in my mind, as in I saw the digits as a picture. Same with the animal. Presumably, I also saw the animal in yeah. my mind the four times that I got it wrong. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why I said what I said when I didn't see it in my mind. Why, why would people put other animals in my mind? <laughs> Assholes. Um... So, so, so the same thing with the animal. He thought of a white rabbit. First thing I saw was a fluffy white thing. I started thinking to myself, is it a sheep? And then the word rabbit appeared. Nifty, smiley face with the tongue. That, so, and... So there was a white shape yeah. that looked like a sheep, right. and then it just turned into the word rabbit. Right, I can't even draw in my own <laughs> head. <laughs> I, just, I just draw a white scribble, and then I write rabbit and point Your brain and arrow just gave to up, it. And it's like... Get in the hazy form of a sheep, <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> when we were at school, our games were simple. I played a janitor, you played a monitor. Then you played with older boys and prefects. What's the attraction in what they do? And there we go. Around about an hour of schools full of dipshits. Adam, <laughs> what did you learn this week? Uh, I learned how to fight. You press the A button, and then it goes, sure. and you press the A button again, and then you pull yeah. the knife out, and then you press the B button. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's, yeah, I think that's pretty much how it worked. That's how it worked for that one guy. Um, I am, uh, I'm over 30. Uh, I am, I am, I am in my 30s, mm-hmm. one would, one would say. And, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, you know, have moments of, of being sort of out of touch, you know, like, yeah, sure. Uh, definitely like, you know, moments where like, like the first time you see Kesha <laughs> yeah. and you go, holy shit, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> and you kind of forget that, you know, like, you know, you had, uh, Cindy Lauper yeah. or whatever, yeah. like, <laughs> like it's, uh, but, but. It's it's nice to know that you know some things do uh, stay the same, and that uh, there's always assholes on the bus. <laughs> totally, <laughs> always. They, it's a different Guy type of cruelty, but it's always assholes on the bus. Because <laughs> if they had their shit together, they'd have cars. Yeah, a, a weird a weird play school survival. Really, really weird because mm-hmm. like the site itself. Looks like it was formed in like 1997, I think. Yeah, totally. It's <laughs> the site is very old, and um, and then there's there's the forums, and you know if it was and if it was just people that kind of cycled through and and would complain about you know like their own fucking 
meaningless, dumb bullshit that they seem to care about. Like, that would be one thing, mm-hmm. but, like, you know, the site's got to have, like, administrators. Yeah, somebody who pays the bills to keep it open. Right, exactly. Yeah. And, and you know, I mean, there's 6,000 members on this thing. Like, what's, like, like what what is anyone doing here? Right, exactly. I mean, like... I, I think it's very fair to say that even the people you think liked high school hated high school, mm-hmm. uh, and everybody, uh, especially creative people like you and I and all the listeners, sure. are driven mostly sure. by revenge. Right, of course. Uh, but but it gets sublimated into something else. You turn your life into something, and, and, and to just hold on to it and to keep posting about it and to keep places like this open... You know, it it only right. it's just it's just a feedback loop, and everybody just gets more upset. Well, yeah, and and, the, and that's the thing that the internet is always the best at <laughs> is is providing providing a feedback loop of of uh, reinforcing terrible thoughts mm-hmm. uh, into brains that were already damaged to start with. Right? You know, like like they like you're in a situation where you're like school's bullshit i'm going to be an herbalist okay no <laughs> yeah no somebody needs to pick you back up right. put you back on the right tracks it's it's all like, that energy going like how can i get out of doing this instead of like just devoting yourself to doing something yeah there's and there you know that but there's but there's actually another important gem that's that's being missed here from uh, posting on school survival is that is that if you're going here and commiserating about like <laughs> you're missing like your actual honest to god valuable isolation yes <laughs> like you're not actually being I-, I mean you are being isolated but you're not fully being isolated yeah and you're missing that you're not allowing yourself to kind of process through these thoughts and you really should like you really should be alone mm-hmm. rather than in a situation where it would be better to be alone. And if you're looking to be alone in a room full of people, <laughs> I would recommend you go to Ball Pit. That is B-A-L-L-P dot I-T. Uh, we got a forum. Uh, when's the last time you were there, Adam? Uh, I like to check in on the uh, uh, related to nothing. I just like this photo and video threads <laughs> um, and, and all in things. I like talking about podcasts and the podcast thread that there is. And, you know. Those are good. There's a there's a somewhat recent one uh, that started in the same area as the related to nothing. I just like this photo called Internet <laughs> um, which is just yep. which is just a variety of like things that wouldn't be worth an episode, but like should be read by somebody. It's great stuff. <laughs> um, uh, like the first the the, thre- the 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 post that starts out the thread is called "Sex is Too Easy." <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, that reminds me. I, I still think that uh, F Plus should put together the year-end wrongest things ever said on the internet tournament. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I uh, yeah, I think I think I think I've got some time uh, near the end of the year, and uh, I've got some JavaScript that I've been wanting to write. <laughs> and, uh, I think I think we're gonna actually turn it into a little card game, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> All right, till next time. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Boots, uh, what would you like to read about? Um, oh, a choice. Would you like to read about <laughs> Snow Days or League of Legends? Oh, Ooh. my God. Uh, there's a guy that always wants us to read League of Legends stuff. Yep. So I think I should finally pick Snow Days. Ha, 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 ha,